Back on the Toyota Tundra that was running under a vacuum that I said people would ask why doesn't the low pressure switch come in and protect the compressor? Well, I just recovered the refrigerant. I pulled out 50 grams of refrigerant, if it'll focus there. And that is just about two ounces of refrigerant. So with only two ounces of refrigerant, it allowed the compressor to come on and stay running all the time with no protection device. That's normal operation. Because there's enough liquid refrigerant as a system to expand the refrigerant to achieve a pressure over the minimum set point for safety to cut in so it was over and once the safety contacts cut in to give uh, electrical signal to the compressor and it kicks in on that's the last time it looks at the low pressure switch because it's on the high side that was enough and it just keeps on running until it'll burn out the compressor so it was running with 50 grams of refrigerant in it and as you can see, I recovered it, and the recovery machine has it recovered all the way down to 1,000 microns, so I definitely got all the refrigerant out of there. Now, the good thing about a four-port manifold, if you have two extension cords, that's a good thing about two extension cords, too. I don't have to move any... I don't have to move any hoses. I don't have to disconnect anything. I don't have to purge. I don't have to do anything. All I have to do is open up the vacuum and without switching hoses, I'm in the vacuum mode now and now I'm vacuuming. That's one of the other benefits of having a four port refrigerant manifold. All right, next video, let's see how this thing operates after it has a full charge because this one right here was supposed to have 650 grams and it only had 50 grams and it was running. It wasn't cooling, but it was running.